Praise the name of the Lord Shalom family. Once again, you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great, awesome, what an awesome session. It's your friend and your sister, Dr. Irene, and I bring you a timely word from the Lord. I appreciate all those that are checking already to this particular word. To you, we always stop by whenever we do new video uploads, retaining viewers and retaining subscribers. God bless you amazingly. This word is a very timely word. If it is for you, you will know it because it's going to resonate with your spirit. And also, you need to act very fast concerning this word. So, like this morning, we're praying during midnight prayer because the month of July is the month of covenant. God told us he's going to be remembering covenants that he made with a lot of people. And so while we're in the midst of that prayer, the Spirit of the Lord laid this word in my heart. And I saw this person, I saw this person uh, uh, that you, this person is praying for you. This person is praying for you, seriously praying for you. And they want you to come back. Now, when I saw this, it was kind of like, you know, a little bit ambiguous because there are two things the Lord showed me the first one is I saw somebody that you when people are in their hard times you will stand by them you will help them and while you are offering them help they will always promise you that when things get better they are going to turn back to remember you they're going to turn back to smile on you but there is this veil all over you that each time when they get to that point where they start succeeding where they start you know flourishing where they start also experiencing prosperity in their businesses and other things they will not remember you they will not remember what you did for them they will not remember that you stood by them and so god says this is a spell but now he said this is how you can break the spell because there is another person that is praying for you. This person has been praying for you. It can be your mom, your grandmom. Since you left them, they kept praying and asking God that he might bless you and that he might bring you back to them with in, in soundness and in health and in all of that. And so God says you need to remember these persons. You need to remember these people. That stood by you. They might have not given you anything, but they gave you emotional support. They were there for you. They they they, they encouraged you. They they made you to you know. They were proud of you. They made you to see good things about yourself. The Lord says you need to remember these people. You need to call them. You need to check on them. You need to visit them. You have to do this. You have to remember them so that those that you have also done good things for can be able to remember you your case has finally gotten to the point where god is answering your prayers and he wants you to have your full remembrance the full redemption package god says go ahead remember those that you need to remember in the way you need to remember the vows you made for with them and the lord is going to cause those that also have made vows with you to remember you and to fulfill their vows to fulfill their promises i pray that this word is going to lead and guide you to make the right steps the right decisions i love you so much family and god bless you shalom